what is happening guys so i haven't even opened the door in this car yet i have not looked inside of it i bought this car online wednesday night yeah it was last wednesday today is monday or maybe it was tuesday night so this is a 2013 dodge charger it is formerly a tioga county new york sheriff's car 13 charger v6 I have not done a thing. I have not heard the car run. I have not attempted to start it. I haven't even opened the door. Tow truck dropped it off at about mm, 1, 1 1.30 today. So we are going to check this thing out together. And boy, it looks like they did some butchery when they tried to take these stickers off. Hopefully not. Hopefully this is all, well, I guess it's all a racer wheel burn here. I think we might do a video series on this car. I don't know. Probably, though, because this is a car I bought to turn around and resell to put toward building funds. And I've owned a lot of Dodge Chargers. So I, I've had good luck so far. I mean, right now I own three of them. I've got the 19 there that I did the Wham Bam Pisser Special on about... I've had that since, like, June or no, like, May. May of last year, so I've had it for a while. And then I have a 2016, or no, 2017 retired New York State Trooper Charger, also a Hemi V8 all-wheel drive, just like the 19. And now we have this one. The V6s aren't as hot of a seller, but they do sell. And these still, with a 3.6 liter in them, they still make about 300 horse. They do get out of their own way fairly well. Uh, let's open the door. I'm sure it's not going to start according to the auction. This car has sat for years. Um, they did um, have it running for auction photos. Um, they didn't have any video, but they did have it running. Uh, here's the title to it. Key. They wrote my name on it. Car had 16 miles on it. One Tioga County Sheriff's Office bought it. Did they write my name on the back of the title? They did not. Here's the receipt for the car. I paid $1,950 for it. Then we had auction fees and taxes and all that crap. So it was $2,316 for this car. Not a horrible deal. So it doesn't look like any kind of lights are working in the car. Battery's deader than a doornail, so which I figured I just gotta set you down here for a quick second just so I can get the key off of here. All right, so what I just did is I pulled the key out of the key fob. <sighs> Batteries are in the trunks. Like we'll go through this car, we'll snoop through it. Hopefully, yeah, they're machi. Yeah, the dog just got in there. Of course, let's break it in quick. <laughs> Break it. Stay out of there. Oh. Come on. This is the first car she ever rode in was a black 2013 Charger. She's probably like, oh, I'm a puppy again. Teddy's got another one. These things have a monstrous battery in them. Actually, we're just going to pull this right out so it's not in our way. Stick it over here. We'll stick it in the shack here. I did bring home a new battery because I assumed it would need one. But we're just going to throw a jump pack on it. It's got, oh, it sucks. It's got a donut spare tire. I do have full-size spares, though. So looking back here, it doesn't look like it's all butchered up like a lot of these retired police cars are. I mean, it looks like all factory wiring. Well, let's throw a jump pack on it here. I haven't done it really anything with a Mazda since the last video. That's why I haven't been posting this past several days. Pretty sure it's got no compression, though. So we're going to come up with some kind of a plan for that car. It's probably going to be back burnered for a while though because we got to get on some stuff to make a little bit of money so we can get this building done. And right now the Mazda is not the ticket for that. 
Well, let's see if this thing will actually do something. Yeah, should have juice. Just seen how the dash lights are flashing. Man, we might have to throw a battery in this thing. We'll see here. Wow, look at that. Fired right up. ABS lights on, traction control lights on. 131,000 miles. Oil changes due. seen it do a real weird gauge sweep as I was opening the hood. Oh yeah, it's doing all sorts of wonky stuff. I don't know if you can tell on the camera or not, but the, everything's flickering just because this battery's so dead. I should probably kill the heat and take a little bit of the load off here. Power seat. Power seat. Yeah, no forward or backward on it. It does tilt. Like, uh, what do we got there? What is it with me and freaking mouse nests lately? These damn cars, I get them, they're sitting around. Oh, air freshener. Some cool shades. Oh, yeah. Dirty. I mean, it sounds good though. It sounds damn good. There's that coolant in it. That's a good sign. I can't believe how good it sounds. I mean, it doesn't look like the car's ever been hurt just been it's been sitting the couch has been sitting I mean I don't know if this battery is going to take any kind of a charge I don't know if I dare I bought the dealer plate home Caliper's a little wonky in it. Unless they got the e brake on. I don't think so, though. Maybe it's just got to be driven a little. Definitely feels like. Something to set up. Oh. I don't know. Should we throw the damn plate on it? Why not? We can get the dogs in. Grace, come on. Come on. Come on. Go on, let's go girls. Let's go girls. Stay. Alright. Now you're thinking, well, you took the oil? Well, I mean, I could, but the county already had it running for the pictures a week ago, so hoping they did. And the car showed it was up to temperature, so. <sighs> All right, let's throw a plate on this thing here. I think I brought home some plate screws. I did.
see what kind of junk we got here. It's going to be kind of a long video. It's going to take like three weeks to upload. Alright, well. There's the spotlight works. No, nope, handles cut off it. That's all right. I got handles. I got lots of spotlight parts. Oh, battery lights on. I wonder if the boost pack's still doing anything. Let's shut it off and try it. Just because I don't want to get stuck down the road here. Be dead. All right, well, the boost pack's still going. All right, let's do this. So that was very clunky. Can I zoom me out a little bit? There we go. Very clunky in the front. So these cars, most of them, by the time I get a hold of them, they need all the control arms put in them. Usually control arms, sway bar links. ABS is on them again. should have thrown the battery in it before we took this ride. So we're going to turn around up here. That brakes sound horrid. stop very well. All right. Yeah, all the gauges are out. <laughs> Well, the lights are out. There we go. Yeah, we should probably definitely put a battery in this thing, then maybe we'll go on an extended ride. These newer cars, you can't just cruise just off alternator power. They definitely need some uh, some amperage behind them to run. I mean, it's not all over the road. It's just got very very little stopping power seems to be getting a little better though so we'll throw a battery in it it's definitely a rattly clunky thing the Jeepster's like a Cadillac compared to this thing. Well, we made it. We put like a whole whopping 
mile and a half on her. Trunk button work. Maybe the key's got to be on. Okay. Trunk work, sweet. All right, well, here you are. I'm going to start uploading you. I don't know if I'm going to putter with it much tonight because it's been freaking raining all day, but uh, I'm at least going to throw a battery in it. See, that's what's nice. At least this department didn't cut all this. So this is factory upfitting wiring here. At least the department didn't cut it all out. A lot of times they just hack all this stuff. I think I got one of these little things that go over this. Just like a plastic generic weird cover that comes with the police edition chargers. Because the cop cars don't come with a console from the factory. They just come with some plastic weird cover here. But, yeah, all right. Well, it's definitely 16 minutes and change for you guys to watch. So, with all that being said, y'all have a goody-goody. I'm going to throw a battery in this sound, bitch. And maybe go for another ride. So, there you are. 13 charger. Son bitch.